Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long, but I thought for 2016 I'll get back into YouTube. So here's my first video. If you want to learn how to create this easy day look using all Maybelline products, keep watching. So to start off, I'm mixing my Superstay 24 hour fresh look along with foundation in the colors 32 golden and 30 sand just to get my proper color so I'm just using a flat top kabuki brush and buffing the foundation all over my skin it's more of a matte side um, foundation but lasts ages I didn't try it for 24 hours but it stayed on for a really long time and the finish is quite beautiful it's semi matte then I grabbed my Superstay 24 hour concealer and this is in the same sort of formula as the foundation that's for long wear uh, concealing and I used it in the uh, color just slightly lighter than my skin tone just covering any blemishes I had and brightening under the eyes and then just going on with the same brush just gonna buff it and blend it in After that I'm gonna grab my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and this is quite yellow so it's quite good for brightening and just adding that extra bit of brightness to the face and illuminating under the eyes so you look more awake and also bring some dimension to the face as well so I just applied that directly to the face and then took my Jessup Angle Kabuki brush and I'm just sort of patting it into the skin this gives a better coverage under the eyes as I find that's kind of where I need a bit more coverage and just blending it out as well, just as out towards the temples, down the center of the nose and on the chin. Now this stuff, the Better Skin Powder Foundation, I just used to set my foundation under the eyes and also on my eyes and it is beautiful. I use the color 010 Ivory under the eyes for brightness and 030 Sand Sable for the rest of the face and I'm just dusting that over to set my foundation. Once I'd finished powdering my face, I grabbed my Master Sculpt Contouring Palette in O2 Medium Dark and I just grabbed a Sigma Contouring Brush and started defining under my cheekbones to get some dimension in my face and just to make my face appear a bit slimmer. It is a little bit hard to blend this one but the colour is really nice so if you just need to keep buffing away and it will blend in after that. I grabbed a smaller brush then and started contouring my nose, so just down the sides of my nose to make it appear a bit slimmer. And then also grabbed the same brush and dipped it into the highlighting powder in the same little Master Sculpt palette. And popped that down my nose, on my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead and above my lips on my cupid's bow as well, just to give a little bit of dimension. Just to warm up my face, I grabbed the Dream Sun Bronzing Powder in Sun Baked Ochre Bruin and started with a bigger powder brush, popping it onto my cheeks and my forehead and just warming up my skin tone and um, because once you pop the foundation on, you just appear a little bit bland. <laughs> and then I'm grabbing my Illuminating Cheek Powder, which is called Highlight by Face Studio. And this is um, quite pretty. It's not so pink so much, it's more of a highlighting product. Brushing out my brows to start on those bad boys and I'm grabbing my Master Brow Palette in the colour Deep Brown. I'm just grabbing the powder shade first and using my angled brush by Sigma and just starting to underline my eyebrows, popping the powder through the brows and I don't like anything too dramatic, just adding a little bit more of like filling in the sparseness of them just popping that in the other eyebrow too. Once I finished putting the powder through I then grabbed the wax which is also in the brow palette and just popping that through the ends where my hairs can be a little bit unruly and then grabbing the highlight powder from that same Master Brow Pro palette and popping it under my eyebrows. Then I grabbed my 24 hour leather ice cream eyeshadow and I'm using this as a base today so I'm not going to build it up so it's really opaque but I'm going to pop it down with a domed shadow brush which is quite dense just to lay down some colour and make a really nice base that will make sure all the eyeshadow sticks all day and then re-grabbing that sun bronzer and with a big 
large and fluffy brush I'm just blending it through the crease to warm up the area and also make it easy for the other shades to transition through then I go on with the Big Eyes Eye Studio quad and this is in the color luminous brown and I'm going to start laying down the darkest shade on the out out of V of the eye and also popping it in the inner corner of the eye as well so I'm just using a pencil brush for this and I'm trying not to be too precise but just putting it down in the area so that I can build up the color once I've got the shades in the inner and outer corners of my eye I'm going to take a smaller tapered blending brush and just start buffing out the color so that the edges are nice and seamless and not too harsh blending brush again and just with no additional product buff out the edges again to make sure that it's nice and seamless and just continue on with this process just picking on the color on the inner and outer corners of the eyes and then blending it out with a tapered blending brush as well so just to make sure you have more control then I'm going to grab that beautiful peach color and spray it with a little bit of hydrating makeup fix from Native Rituals. You can use water for this as well, but I find that it just brings out the color so much more and you can actually pack it right onto the center of the eyelid and build up the opacity so that it is nice and bright. Then I just grab a smaller blending brush and make sure to blend that peach in with that brown color so it's not too harsh in the center of the eyelid. And just continue this process until you're happy with how opaque the peach is. Just brings nice dimension to the eyes and also if you've got blue eyes or green eyes it will bring them out. Just grab my Sigma short shader brush and I'm using that dark brown and popping it under the eyes just close to the lash line to make sure that it matches the smokiness and intensity of the top of the eyelid as well. And then grabbing that small tapered blending brush and just buffing it out so it's not harsh under the eyes. And then taking that sun bronzer again, I'm just buffing some of that under the eyes as well so it's nice and smoky. Grabbing the highlight shade from the palette, I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners of the eyelids to pop our eyes to bring them out and also under the brow bone too, just for a little bit of extra dimension. Taking my Color Show eyeliner in black, I'm just popping it in the waterline and tight lining as well. Taking my lash curler, which is a must have for me as my eyelashes are very straight, I'm just using it to curl my eyelashes and this will open up the eyes and make them appear wider and more awake. And then of course to keep my lashes curled I use a waterproof mascara. This one is my favorite at the moment being the Lash Sensational Mascara and it's honestly wicked. Like I got thrown in the lake off the jet ski the other day a few times and my makeup around my eyes did not budge. It is awesome stuff. The brush takes a little bit of getting used to but once you've got the hang of it it's pretty awesome. <music> my Color Sensational Creamy Matte Lipstick in 665 Lust for Blush. It's a beautiful pink colour. I'm just popping that on the lips. Didn't use any lip liner that day, didn't really need to. And then I went over with 655 Daring Me Nude just sort of in the centre and just blended that out with my fingers a little bit. Once I'm done with that, just sprayed myself with some hydrating makeup fix and there we go, that's the finished look pretty easy for daytime wear it might take a little bit longer than your usual daytime look but not having the lashes and just utilizing your own lashes makes it a little bit more wearable for the day and you can always pop on some false lashes and amp it up for a nighttime look thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe love being back here and doing videos again bye